Hey everybody, it's episode 11, and I've run out of fingers. Uh, Courtney is in the Shadow Realm. She got sucked into a tar pool after we put the diamond back together. And Eclipse was like, get into the tar pool. So her, I'm hoping that she and Cindy will team up to try and get out of there. Maybe, I don't know if Charles is in that exact same place, but I kind of presume he is. Maybe the three of them can combine forces. Or we can work on the outside to get them out. I don't know how we would do it. Break the diamond again? I, I Honestly, I don't know. Um, but in the other flip side of that story, we found Green Lantern Girl. Lantern Girl. She was chasing after her brother. She still hasn't found him, but he's been secretly kept kept in this rehab place. And they're doing something with him. I wouldn't be surprised if he has some sort of powers that they're trying to tap into. But I presume we'll get to that before the end of the season. And in the third storyline, Mike has found the kid with the pink pen. Who's just living it up. You know, in this gingerbread house. So those are the main things that happened last episode. Beth also told her parents to work their own shit out. She got stuff to do. And Rick is in the slammer. And Yolanda is nowhere to be seen. But I presume everybody's going to come back together in the next three episodes at some point. We got three episodes left, including this one. It's chapter 11. Let's go. Oh yeah, and everybody's gonna hate Shade. Because of his... It was all part of his plan to get his powers back. So, what's what's the next step of the plan? Yeah, Barbara is gonna be the most cut up of all. Yay, we're in the Shadow Realm. It's in black and white though, but... You know, of course it would be. There's no color in the, sh the, the shadows. I wonder if it's the same as our world, just kind of spooky. There's the, the clock tower. Dude, can you see me? Afternoon, young lady. You sure can. Are you in here with me, priest dude? I need to know all the rules of this place. Meg, Meg, you better be in this one. Temporarily closed, damn it. I wanted to see a movie. Joey, that was incredible! <laughs> hey! Very good. Aren't you dead? Hi there. Did you die in season one? Welcome to Blue Valley. In Blue Valley, you can be whoever you want to be. Like our son Joey here. He's going to be a famous magician one day. Why don't you show her that trick I taught you? Yeah. <clears throat> this is the one he did. Pick a card. Any card. Didn't he do this with her already? Oh, it's, oh, it's <laughs> take a look at it. It's the exact same one. Put it back anywhere in the deck. It's Pendulette's favorite card. I think I made the same comment last season. Was this your card? Yeah. Yes. Are you gonna lie to me again? No. Oh. oh, they're all gonna stand up. Get out of there, Cordy. Yeah, I'll just be. I, I'm. I need. Oh, I just have an appointment. I need Jelly. to get to. Nice meeting, everybody. Ooh, it's cool. Eventually she'll bump into somebody who is really here, i.e. Cindy. Oh, oh, who's that? Who's that? Who's that there? Oh, they're both dead too. Oh, that has to be Cindy. Yeah. Ow. Cindy, are you real? Cindy? Really here. Yeah. Let's get out of here. Where are we? Cynthia. Oh, I don't like that noise. Let's go the other way. Ugh. Yeah, let's go through here. <laughs> yeah, team up. That's what I was looking for. How did you get here? I got tarpooled. Like you. Where is here? This is where Eclipse was born. Little girl's bedroom. Courtney. It's called the Shadowlands, nitwit. Yeah, and it would. The Shadowlands gave him life. To us, this place acts as a... Um, Purgatory? 
Purgatory. It shows you things. Stuff you did. Also, it just bums you the hell out. Yep. But sometimes it's fun. You get to kill people. Killed my father. And you. Over and over. So many times. 17 times I killed you. How do we get out of here? We don't. You can't. I'll figure it out myself. No, don't split it up. Don't split it up. No Christmas. Thank you for coming on such short notice. I just got her down for a nap. She's been just oh. so fussy. My baby Courtney. I have a business degree, you know? But I got pregnant. My daughter ended all my dreams. Yeah. She was the worst thing that ever happened to me. Mom, I, I could have had such a better life. Yeah, doesn't seem like such a bad place to me. <laughs> Cindy's grabbing her. What was that? It looked like your mom was wishing you were never born. Yeah. That's a, that's a fun one. That wasn't real. Hmm. Maybe. You won't survive long. There's darkness in everyone. I just choose to embrace mine while you avoid yours. Right. The guilt of your sins will eat you alive in this place, Courtney? Their souls are eventually torn apart by their own nightmares. And it'll serve you right. You let go of me. God. <laughs> I was trying to save you. Great job! You're the one who brought Eclipso into this. I needed his darkness to put out your light. How did that work for you? <laughs> Cindy? Uh oh, Ramon. Is it gonna be tragic? This is what could break um, Cindy, for sure. Please, don't hurt me again. Go away! Oh. Cindy! Follow her, Courtney. I like that. She just runs straight into the darkness, no hesitation. Cindy! Hey, hey. Are you? Are you? Is Charles here? Are you? After midnight? Yeah. Now we got three people. You must be Courtney Whitmore. Can you talk to Beth for me? Tell her we're okay? The very room you're seeing is an illusion. What was that? That was the truth in its pure, unadulterated form. No, this is what the Shadowlands really look like. It's just like that all the time. He just wants to see the truth. He doesn't want to see any illusions or his daughter or... How do you stand to look at that all the time? It's better than... When I take them off, all I hear is my daughter. He will plant anything or anyone here to lead you into despair or rage. Oh, I'm so curious what Courtney's gonna see. All that is good in your life, you have to hold on to it. Yeah, take a little, take a buddy. We're back in colorful land with Beth. Beth will be the first to know that Courtney's alive and well in the Shadowlands. Beth just can't help herself snooping in this Courtney's bedroom. Hey, do you want to, do you want to snoop? Found her diary. My goggles are filled with tears. That's kind of poetic. But I'm afraid to take them off. Dr. McNighter? What? What do you mean Courtney's still alive? She knows. She's in the Shadowlands. Chuck thinks the shade can open the doorway to bring them back. Dr. McNighter said the light in Jenny's ring is sensitive to dark energies. <clears throat> Repeat to yourself what you want to do and then just focus on that. Right. Want a million dollars. A million dollars. Oh, you mean find find the shade. the shade? Find the shade. Yeah. Save Courtney. Well, one thing at a time. Find the shade. It's a map of Blue Valley. Ooh. In two different locations. That's weird. How? Two different locations. Why would he help us? He's a good dude. Because he's complicated. Yeah, he's just complicated. A few nights after Rebecca died, I found the shade in my kitchen with a bottle of absinthe. He said he'd known about Eclipso before and done nothing. He blamed himself, but I dismissed the notion. He owes him a debt. That's why he saved him? When he sent me to the Shadowlands, it, he was trying to save me from the ISA. I think he considered us friends. But why did he get you in, like any year in between? You know, get you out? Should be closed. He's just watching a movie. Someone's in there. Why don't you let me check it out and then... Barbara's good friends with him. Pat, you're not going to hurt him. The healing power of the diamond was unfortunately halted when Eclipso destroyed it. You're going to help us get Courtney back. Yeah, she You know you can access the Shadowland. Dr. McNighter said as much. Oh, uh, really? And when did he say that? Like Tonight. today? He's he alive. He doesn't know he's in there. You put him in the Shadowland. Right. That's why he never went back to him. 
If you don't get her back, no, then make no mistake. I still have enough power to kill you both where you stand. Then kill me, because I don't want to live without my daughter. No, she couldn't call his bluff. He wasn't going to kill her. Please. And we're friends. Come on. Bring her home. Come on, buddy. He's got a heart. You know, you really do remind me of my sister. <laughs> Oh, we can see it. Cindy, get in here, huh? quickly. Courtney, hurry! What is it? Go on, Courtney. Cindy's still here. Yeah. Then I think we need to hurry. We're just gonna get a friend. She'll help us. Take me to Cindy. Oh, we're gonna see some shit here. Wanda? Oh, shit. Hi, Courtney. Just ignore him. Do you want to play a game? Uh, could you tell me where Cindy is, you little shit? Oh, meanwhile, Cindy's getting experimented on and ejected. I didn't mean to upset you. Uh -oh. You wouldn't let me stay up late. Stay away from her! <laughs> she had a good reason. Look at oh. the monster. You here again? Rick is fine. Cage. Rick's fine. We're going to get him out. It's all McGrundy. He's made, he made friends. You know? I've tortured your friends and your family. I've hurt everyone you love. This little kid is a great actor, by the way. He's so creepy. Even the way he walks. Hold out another few minutes. Please keep it open. Oh, easy for you to say. <laughs> your dad. Yeah, what about him? He hurt you like I did. How do you feel about me? I feel sorry for you, little shit. Can't experience love or anything. I hate you. Oh, Corny, don't say that. That's what he wants. Oh, here she comes. Star girl, he's not here. Hey, Charles. Ignore him. Great. Oh shit. Mom, I'm, I'm so sorry. This might help. I reckon. Her confronting this? I'm so sorry. I loved you. I still do. I found a way out of here. Yeah, come on. He sure can hold a frickin' portal open for a long time, can't he? One more. One more. The most important one got out? Can we get this guy some tea or something? I hope he's not gonna die because of that. Would you mind awfully telling people that I died? Oh shit. I don't want him to die. Doing something good. Maybe he's still okay in the other, the other place? So. Yeah, let's kick ass. Who wants to kill Eclipso? Yeah. Cindy will do it, no problem. We don't. We don't need Yolanda to do it anymore. <laughs> so, that was episode 11. Chapter 11 of Summer School. Stargirl, season 2. That's the official title. We got Cindy back. And also Courtney came, came along. Came through. But, in the process of doing that, it seems like Shade has died. But in my brain, for shows like these, you're not really dead until you never show up again. So part of me is like, he's fine. Once we take care of the clip, though, something, he might get his, he might get recorporealized or something, or he'll wake up from his death. And there was still that, there was that weird thing where it said he was in two places. How do they know which one to go to? I'm, 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 maybe I'm focusing too much on that. Maybe it doesn't mean what I think it means. Just looking at it again. Yeah, two different locations. They, the Shadowlands was pretty interesting. Really creepy at the start. I actually really liked it at the start, when everybody's just like... 
everybody's being friendly. Hello. Because you're getting so creeped out by people just nodding at Courtney and saying hello. Then William Zarek is there. And Joey. And the wife that I thought would be a huge big deal. She was going to flirt with Pat and there was going to be this whole thing in season one. That seems like so long ago now. But all three of those died, didn't they? In some way or another? William got iced to death. His son got hit by a something. Can't actually, he was on the bridge, remember? The bridge? He died on the bridge? Did, that, did a boss hit him? I don't remember. And it, the wife? Didn't she just get killed off screen? She was in a car trying to find them? Something like that. My memory is so bad about this right now, for some reason. But yeah, fun to see them back. Even though it wasn't really them. Initially I was like, oh, maybe it's everybody who's died ended up here. You know, in some sort of purgatory, as Cindy was mentioning. But no, everybody's just an illusion except for those three people. Four people, if you include Eclipso, who ducks in every now and again to to poke people and taunt them and make sure they're super unhappy. And Eclipso got Courtney to admit that she hates him. That negative raw energy. That's a victory for Eclipso. Instead of doing the Beth thing, where Beth is just like being super positive and taking back her power. I think Beth is the only one who stood up to Eclipso and actually completely, utterly defeated him. Which is kind of funny. But laying all the, the blame on Courtney for Yolanda and Rick, I don't buy that. Sure, was I blaming Courtney a little bit for Yolanda feeling the way she does? Of course I, of course. <laughs> I like to have fun that way. But Rick, Rick had, has had issues going back decades. And uh, maybe that encounter with his stepdad was inevitable at some point. Plus, in a way, Rick has more friends now than he ever had. Not only did he make a friend in Beth this season, he also made a huge friend in Solomon Grundy. He brings them apples. You don't get out. You don't get apples in the prison system. You just get this gruel-like thing. Hmm, gruel. I might be confusing prison for a cult. That's, that, that could be possible. And we got to see. We got to meet Charles. Although he did take his goggles off, but he didn't take his costume off, so we haven't really met him as a real person. So I'm looking forward to seeing him properly. And now we've got a huge team. Green Lantern, Cindy, all sorts of people. We just need Mike to find the guy with a pink pen and he already found him. That, that sort of was skipped over. He must be called, you know, Courtney's dead. Get back here. You know, before he knocked on the gingerbread house and looked for the... Hey, can you help us, dude? So we got all sorts of people. Break Rick out of prison. Solomon Grundy. There's only two episodes left, so I don't expect... That Todd storyline might need to be put on hold for a bit. I'm not sure we can go back to that place and find out what they're doing there and then get him and then use him for a final battle. There doesn't seem to be that much time to do that. So I wouldn't be surprised if some of the things they've been setting up this season don't get resolved in the final two episodes. And I don't see Courtney taking any exams either. But who knows? The big question is, is Yolanda going to come back for this final battle? She was sort of in this episode. Good to see Cindy's past. Finally, we see what happened to her mother. I was kind of hoping that it was a misunderstanding or that 
she didn't really kill her or it was super accidental but it, it was just she was just pissed and she did it now granted she wouldn't have done it without her father changing her but you know it's good it's good for her character and she's confronted it in the Shadowlands she showed a very human side to her and Courtney got to see it too and now she's on team everybody's on the same team we're gonna go kick Eclipso's ass I'm looking forward to the last two episodes I'm sure you are too so come back next time for episode 12 and we'll see what kind of team we can get together for the final showdown in episode 13 so I'll see you next week <laughs>